I think this is a really good thing for just for sports fans in general and for uh, for our country uh, to get back to the more normal that we can that we can get to in a safe fashion. For the first time in months, wheels will hit the pavement, engines will roar, and racing will return as NASCAR becomes the first professional sport to reopen from the COVID-19 shutdown. The, the number one goal from, from the time that the races were canceled in Atlanta until now, the common number one goal is what do we have to do as an industry to get back up and running? With racing back on the schedule, Kentucky Motor Speedway is preparing for its own race in July. But what it could look like when the checkered flag waves is anybody's guess, leaving officials having to prepare for multiple scenarios. I've never had to prepare for two different scenarios like this before. Uh, we don't know exactly where we're going to fall into all of that. So what we have to do is we have to prepare for both scenarios. If fans are in attendance during race week, the Speedway is implementing a plan to keep attendees socially distant from one another in an effort to maximize safety. We're outdoors. Okay, being outdoors is a lot better than being indoors. We have got uh, an ability to spread out um, the garage stalls so that no two garage stalls are next to each other. So we can do that. We've got about 400 acres that we're gonna spread people around. With so much uncertainty, plans could change several times before drivers make their way to the bluegrass. But the Speedway is optimistic that race weekend will go on despite the challenges. I think it's really important that we get, let's, let's get back up and going. If we can do this thing safely, let's do it. For Local 12 Sports, I'm Chris Rankle.